Welcome to the Playhouse Theatre. This theatre is unique as it is owned and operated by members who work tirelessly on and off the stage to bring Bundaberg the highest quality of live entertainment. In this video, we'll show you a virtual tour of the theatre of five key sections. The land was bought in 1962 and the first stage was built in 1964. Now, the first show was put on April 29th of 1968 and that was when the stage was facing the opposite direction. Now, let's look at the first section, the front of house. Good morning, welcome to the Playhouse Theatre. The box office is the first thing that patrons come to when visiting the theatre, and they are always greeted with a friendly face, such as one of our lifetime members, Bob. Now Bob, what is the front of house? Uh, the front of house is divided into sub-departments, uh, the box office, the usherettes, the bar, uh, kitchen, and each of those sub-departments has a head. And uh, we, um, we run everything from the lighting box forward. This way. Yeah. What's your favourite part about the theatre? Oh, the companionship. Um, being social creatures as we are, um, it's, uh, it's a good feeling to be surrounded by so many friends who have the same idea, who have feel the same about live theatre. Now, where can people get information for shows and other events? Uh, well, there are a number of places. Um, we do have a TV ad, uh, and the local paper also runs ads for us. But if they go on our website, there's a lot of information there. Or alternatively, they can come here on a Sunday morning, sometime after 10, and uh, any of the staff here will be only too pleased to help. Very good. And what about tickets? How can people get their tickets for shows? Ah, well, they can book online, um, which is quite simple. If they do have troubles with that, we can help them if they come in and see us. Or they can ring between 10 and 12 on a Sunday morning or a Saturday morning. And, um, or they can come in personally and we can serve them here at the counter. Very good. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Now, this is the downstairs foyer, but upstairs we have the bar. Here we have the upstairs foyer, where patrons come and mingle before and after the shows, as well as during the interval, where people come and get their drinks and refreshments from the kitchen and licensed bar. Also up here are a lot of memorabilia from different shows that we've done over the years. The Playhouse has done over 400 shows, and they include Man of Steel, The Les Mis, My Fair Lady, and a number of other shows. Now, back over here we have a model created by one of our very own, and this is the model of the theatre, where you can see it laid out in its entirety. Now, when you get your tickets, one of the ushers will take you to your seats. But before we go there, we'll look at the lighting and sound department. Thanks, Dan. Welcome to the lighting and sound department. This is where the magic happens. Here we have the sound. Here we have our amplifiers, our foldbacks, and our CD players. Here is our soundboard. Here we can play around with the sound, make people higher or lower, just balance the sound. Over here we have our lining ball, and here's our spotlight. Here we light up the stage for our prima donnas and divas. Over here is our lighting board. We have 92 channels for most shows, but if we need more channels for a bigger show, such as Phantom, we will use a laptop which has 512 channels. Over here is our dimmer rack. We have four dimmer racks and they communicate with the lighting board and the lights throughout the theatre through these cables. And over here, we have the ceiling. This is the ceiling. Here we have all the sound and lighting equipment. We have lights, speakers, microphones and bells. Basically, anything that produces a sound or lights up on stage, we have it in here. Now we're going on to the gantry here, we're, we're just above the auditorium. To your side we have our air cons, this is where we keep the theatre cool for our patrons. And now we're coming up to the stage here, we have our catwalk. It was installed in July 2016 to make 
the placement of lights on stage a little easier. See, instead of climbing up on a ladder, you just climb down a small one. This is the catwalk. After its installation, it takes less than an hour to set up a lighting rig. Before that, it took more than six hours. Now I'll take you over to Garni. Garni! Oh, <laughs> didn't see you there. Welcome to the Playhouse stage. Now, our auditorium is quite large, seating uh, 245 patrons, which I think is big for an amateur organisation. Now, if you follow me over here, stage left, we have our wings, which our actors enter on and off from when in a show. And just up here, we have the stage manager's quarters. Now, our stage manager is responsible for queuing shows and letting actors know what's happening on stage and your crew. Now, over here at the back, we have the end of our stage going out into the club room and the green room. Now, the stage has been used before for cabaret-like style shows, dinner theatres, where our audience actually sits this way as opposed to that way. Now, just over here is stage right, again, with multiple wings. But as you can see through, we have pulleys and ropes, which are designed to hold everything that you can see coming around the theatre. Now, this is the orchestra pit, which is responsible for holding orchestra numbers. It also has many trapdoors in it for shows that need trapdoors or stage entries. Let's go down and take a look. And here we are in the orchestra pit. As you can see, we have some instruments stored here. Now, our orchestra pit can fit a large number of people. We've had orchestras in for Phantom of the Opera and our last recent show, Evita. Now, if you come down here, we have our two dressing rooms, male and female. Dressing rooms are used for storing costumes, props, things like that. And this is where your actors do their makeup and can sometimes wait before going on stage. And this is our club room. Our club room is used for storing props or chairs, pianos, any instruments that don't fit. And it's also a fantastic rehearsal space for your actors before going on stage. Physical warm-ups, vocal warm-ups. Through and down here we have our kitchen. And just through this room here is our green room. Now, your actors are usually, this is the waiting place for them before going on stage. Another place to calm and breathe down, calm the nerves. And as I take you through here, I will take you to the makeup department and pass you over to Michelle. Hey, hiya. An actor's makeup is one of the finishing touches before a show. Yet you never see the hard work that goes on in this room until the final show nights. It's one of the crucial parts to transform an actor into a character. Every night, the makeup artist team work together and transform an entire cast ready for the show. Then it's their next stop, costumes. Once upon a time, the wardrobe mistresses worked down in the dressing rooms, keeping all of the playhouse's costumes in the tiny cupboards down there. But once we got too big, we decided to move into our costume shed. Most of our costumes are acquired by either our wonderful wardrobe mistresses making them, or sometimes buying them. But more often than not, we are acquiring them through generous donations from members of the Playhouse. We have absolutely everything from musketeers to clowns to maids to drag queens to folk boys to sultans to magistrates to flapper girls to pilots to redcoats. You name it, we'll costume it. And it's all thanks to the amazing theatre goers that have put their love, their time, their passion and their joy into this amazing department. Next stop, let's go check out upstairs where Kyle's going to talk to us about props and our set design. Thanks Michelle. Welcome to our one of two props rooms that we have at the theatre. In this props room we store many things such as our china, crockery, vases. We also have different things like baskets, bags and crates. And through here we have a bigger storage area for other props. So in here we keep our larger items such as coffins, we also have pirate's wheels, mushrooms, different scenery pieces that we use for other shows that that can't fit into our downstairs props room. Now our downstairs prop room is located under our auditorium. We have our bigger items such as our lounges, tables, chairs, kitchen sets and any other large items that we would need to use in all of our different sets that we need to create. And now we're going to head over to our workshop. Welcome to our set storage and workshop. Here is where we create all of our sets. 
We have all of our power tools over here. We have a saw and an electric drill. Upstairs on our loft, we keep all of our carpet and other flooring items. Down below all that, we keep our staircases and all the different platforms that are used on stage to create levels. Now, here we have all of our flats that we use to create the walls of our set. We have everything ranging from windows, doors, and different walls like bricks, wood, and other effects. This is the foundation. This is where a play starts. And now we're going to head back to the stage and meet with the others. It was so not like subtle limbo. at all. She was right in our way. Yeah, and you oh, like, yeah. like limbo. Oh, no. oh no. See, but this is this is what I think is important: is that it's these kind of memories and these kind of moments that happen sporadically in a rehearsal, in a in a show that make theatre what it is. It's we're not just here to put on a show. I mean, that's your end product, but there's so much that happens in between and behind the scenes, and I think that's incredible. Yeah, uh, the passion that the people have here, like this all could have been made without everyone just working, giving up their time and effort to make something such magical. Yeah, and everyone has their own passions, but what I love is that everyone can come together, work together to create something so special as a show from every, of every different area. And then like once we've created it, the audience can just come in, enjoy and there's nothing better than finishing off your show with your bow and the audience is just applauding and cheering you. It's fantastic. And then you're up there with the people that no matter where you are or what you're doing, your theatre family will always be there beside you. And I think that's one of the most special things about the Playhouse Theatre. Well, thanks for watching. We hope to see your faces around at the Playhouse.